Have you ever wondered how millions of uniformly soft slices of bread make their way onto supermarket shelves? In this video, we'll go behind the scenes to reveal how, from just a few basic ingredients, industrial sandwich loaf is produced for our daily consumption. You'll uncover the journey of the wheat, the precision of the machinery, and the rigor of the quality controls that guarantee a safe, delicious product. Join us on this journey that combines tradition with cutting edge technology to feed the world. To understand this process in depth, let's start at its very origin, the wheat fields. Here, seed selection isn't left to chance, but is the result of decades of agronomic research. Specific varieties, resistant to pests and boasting optimal protein content, are sown according to crop rotation schedules that minimize pesticide use and preserve soil health. As the crop grows, sensors mounted on drones and weather stations across the farm monitor soil moisture, air temperature, and evapotranspiration rates, feeding mathematical models that predict the exact moment to harvest for maximum yield and grain quality. Once harvested, the wheat enters the first stage of cleaning and grading. Massive vibrating sieves remove stones and clods of earth, while air blowers separate lighter impurities like broken heads and dust. X-ray systems inspect each kernel automatically ejecting any that show abnormal density or metallic contaminants. This step ensures that only top quality grain proceeds to the milling phase. The heart of the milling process consists of a series of hardened steel rollers known as primary and secondary. The wheat is subjected to progressively higher pressures to crack the husk and release the endosperm. Each stage is designed to maximize yield. Primary rollers perform a coarse grind while the secondary and tertiary rollers refine the particles until they form crumbs that, after sifting, become flour. This white powder then passes through nylon sieves of calibrated mesh to separate the bran and germ, which are returned to the milling system to extract every last bit of starch and protein. Throughout this operation, the milling room's atmosphere is kept under strict pressure and filtration control to prevent flour dust explosions. Particle detectors and ignition suppression systems remain on constant alert, ready to inject extinguishing agents should concentrations exceed safe thresholds. Once the flower's quality is certified, through lab analyses measuring moisture, particle size distribution, and enzymatic activity, it's stored in pressurized silos that feed it automatically into the pneumatic conveyance pipelines. Meanwhile, Industrial yeast is produced in sterile bioreactors, where a mother culture is successively expanded until it reaches volumes of thousands of liters. pH sensors, turbidimeters, and dissolved oxygen probes ensure optimal growth conditions for Saccharomyces cerevisiae. After each fermentation cycle, the yeast biomass is separated via high-speed centrifuges, washed in specific buffers, and stabilized into active blocks that when mixed with milk or other carriers, regain full viability before arriving at the bakery plant. In the factory, recipe formulation is managed by an ERP system that automatically calculates the proportions of flour, water, yeast, salt, sugar, fats and additives, emulsifiers, enzymes and preservatives based on that day's ambient humidity and the plant's altitude. These parameters feed into the DCS, Distributed Control System, which orchestrates valves, pumps, and precision scales to within milligrams. Water, sourced from a reverse osmosis system, is adjusted to ideal pH and hardness before mixing, ensuring consistent results from batch to batch. Mixing is a choreographed performance of twin shaft mixers with integrated heat exchangers. At 24 degrees, variable shaft speeds apply shear forces that develop the gluten network. After eight intense minutes of mixing, the dough reaches the window pane stage, stretchy without tearing and able to retain gas efficiently. A brief rest allows partial autolysis, during which enzymes break down starch molecules to release fermentable sugars that will boost yeast activity during proofing. Next, the dough travels through sealed pipes to the volumetric divider, where pneumatic cylinders portion out exact weights. Robotic arms place each piece into Teflon-coated molds and perform mechanical folding to align gluten strands and expel irregular air pockets. Before entering the proofing chamber, a machine vision camera scans every piece, rejecting those with shape or size defects. 
proofing takes place in a 200 meter climate controlled tunnel, kept at 32 de Grenadel Thest with 85% relative humidity. Along the way, laser scanning stations measure loaf expansion and adjust conveyor speed, so each loaf undergoes a uniform proofing cycle. Meanwhile, photovoltaic panels on the roof convert sunlight into electricity, partially powering the climate control systems. After proofing, the dough rests briefly in a soft sheeter module that smooths the surface and removes minor irregularities. A frozen flower spray is then applied to create a distinctive pattern on the final crust. The tunnel oven, divided into four independent zones, subjects the loaves to descending temperatures. 240 degrees in for the initial bake flash, 200 degrees in for crumb development, 180 degrees in for drying, and 160 degrees in for final stabilization. Tangential fans provide laminar airflow, ensuring an even golden color and a thin crust. Exiting the oven still at 95 degrees Celsius, the loaves enter a 150 meter adiabatic cooling tunnel. Streams of air at 20 degrees CC, driven by variable frequency fans, bring the temperature down to 35 degrees CC in just 30 minutes. This stage is critical. Too rapid cooling cracks the crumb, while too slow cooling encourages mold growth. Infrared sensors monitor both surface and core temperatures, dynamically adjusting airflow in real time. Then comes slicing. Anthropomorphic robots place each loaf on a vibrating platform where stainless steel oscillating blades, 2.4 meters wide, cut 60 slices per minute with plus 0.1 millimeter precision. High-speed cameras capture every slice, feeding vision algorithms that detect thickness variations or loose crumbs, instantly rejecting any batch that fails quality standards. Packaging is a synchronized dance. A high-barrier polyethylene film former shapes the bag while simultaneously injecting a modified atmosphere, nitrogen and CO2, to extend freshness without extra preservatives. Ultrasonic welders seal the bag airtight, and immediately afterward, a six-head inkjet printer marks each package with the production date, expiration date, lot code, and a traceability QR code linked to the wheat's origin. Before leaving the line, a robotic arm samples randomly and places the slices in trays for rapid quality tests crumb stability, elasticity, and mold susceptibility. Simultaneously, sensors carried on the pallet conveyors measure temperature and humidity inside each pallet. A central SCADA system logs all process variables, enabling full traceability and retrospective analysis in case of deviations. Hours later, full pallets roll out of the dispatch bay onto refrigerated, GPS-monitored trucks. Routes optimized by logistics algorithms ensure minimal transit times to cold chain supermarkets and bakeries. An IoT network links the truck's sensors to the cloud, alerting operators to any anomaly that might compromise product quality. From the moment the flour tanker arrives to the instant the bread reaches your table, just six hours and 15 minutes have elapsed. In that time, hundreds of people, agronomists, food chemists, and automation engineers collaborate so that each slice retains its characteristic texture, aroma, and taste. Moreover, the plant recycles cooling water, captures residual heat to preheat incoming water, and manages solid waste in accordance with international environmental standards. This continuous flow, powered by planning software and predictive maintenance, minimizes waste and optimizes energy use. Residual heat fuels boilers. Cooling water is filtered and reused, and solid waste is processed under strict environmental guidelines. The result is a sandwich loaf that marries the time-honored craft of baking with industrial efficiency, delivering each morning a slice born from the harmony of science, technology, and gastronomy.